नमस्ते वेलकम टू द ग्रूप वन सर्विस मेन एग्जामेषन ओरियंटेशन टेलीकास्ट बै द टी सैट एवरी वन नो सो व्यू यू हाव सिक्स पेपर्स ईच वन क्यारे वन फिफ्टी मार्क्स टोटली नईन हंड्रेड मार्क्स यू हाव टू स्कोर मोर दैन सिक्स हंड्रेड मार्क्स टू क्वालिफाइ इन द ग्रूप वन मेन्स एग्जामेषन एंड to become as a, a district level officer or state level officer okay in paper 5 we have uh, three sections the section 1 and section 2 concern to the science and technology and section 3 concern to data interpretation and problem solving in data interpretation problem solving you are going to learn practice the concepts like uh, business mathematics or commercial mathematics profit and loss simple interest and compound interest ratio and proportions okay like various concepts are there so we have to discuss all these things you you have to become a perfect on all these concepts then it's a easy to score a uh, maximum marks in the section 3 there are five questions just now i said so each question may be consists of five sub questions and each question carry two marks means 5 to the 10 marks clear so for the reason you have to write the solution and one more important thing is you have to change your mindset because you practice from last four months or five months maybe more than six months for the preparation of uh, prelims examination the preliminary examination is an objective type pattern multiple choice questions you have to find the appropriate or correct option correct answer okay just choosing the right answer is the enough there but here in mains examination it's a descriptive pattern you have to write appropriate and accurate solution for the given question so so writing solution you have to practice to write the solution for the each and every problem or question which you are practicing now today's concept is profit and loss already in the previous episode we explained the different formulas concerned to the profit and loss so when will we get profit when will we get loss okay what is the profit percentage what is the loss percentage so when the cost price and selling price is known how you are going to calculate profit and profit percentage if profit percentage is known out of selling price and cost price one of it known then how to find the rest of the thing like various applications already discussed in the previous episode this episode we are going to practice those formulas in finding the solutions of the given question these questions are is a collection of previous examination questions and some questions are expected questions according to the need of the concept now we will see the question here if selling price is doubled the profit is triples then what is the profit percentage the selling price is doubled then what will happen the profit will be triples that means three times then you have to find the profit percentage so first if you want to know the value of profit first you have to calculate you have to know the cost price say the cost price is x what is the given information selling price is double correct and we doesn't know say selling price also so selling price is y clear so what is the information the selling price is doubled then the profit becomes triples this is a case one in case one the cost price is x selling price is y so profit is what is profit selling price minus cost price means y minus x this is a case one now take case two in case 2 what will happen cost price is x no change 
selling price will be double means 2 by then profit becomes 3 times to the previous one means 3 times of y minus x correct. But according to this data the profit is equal to 2 y minus x are you understand this relation is very important if you understand this relation then the rest of the question is very simple means 3 times of y minus x is equal to 2 y minus x means 3 y minus 3 x equal to 2 y minus x bring 2 by here 3 x there 3 y minus 2 y equal to 3 x minus x means y is equal to 2 x correct. Okay. So, 3 means uh, 3 y minus 2 y correct 3 x y equal to 2 x. Okay. So, when y equal to 2 x then what is profit what is profit y minus x that is 2 x minus x which is x. Then what is profit percentage profit that is x by the cost price into 100 means x by x into 100 that is equal to 100 percentage. So, when the selling price is doubled profit is tripled then the profit percent becomes as 100 percent clear. See uh, this question seems to be very simple the statement is a single sentence, but how much logic is there there will be a simple linear equation is there by solving the linear equation you get the relation between selling price and cost price finally, you got the profit percentage. Okay. Now, we will see one more question in a certain store the profit is 320 percent of the cost. If the cost increase by 25 percent, but the selling price remains constant approximately what percentage of the selling price is the profit. In a certain store the profit is 320 percent cost generally this kind of statement is given what you have to do we will say the cost price is equal to x rupee 100 rupees. And the profit is 20, 320 percent of the cost, 320 percent of the cost price is equal to profit, correct. Then what is profit here? 320 by 100 into 100 means 320 rupees. Okay. If the cost price increases the cost is increases by 25 percent. So, okay. so the selling price is 100 and profit is 300 though selling price will be 320 plus 100 420 rupees. Okay. This is a case one. What is the other information if the cost increases by 20 percent cost price is increased by 25 percent means how much the previously the cost price is 100 it is increased to 25 percent means it is 125 rupees correct okay and the selling price will be as considered as 420 then what is the profit here selling price minus cost price means 420 minus 125 how much is 295 rupees is a profit so, what is required here? What percentage of the selling price is the profit? What percentage the selling price is the profit? Means, uh, selling uh, profit is 295, selling price is 420, you have to multiply 290 with 420 and you have to multiply 100, correct. So, if it is divided then you can divide with the uh, value otherwise you can say 0 0 get cancelled 
and any other uh, 2 Pfizer to 21 uh, 5 Pfizer 25, 5 9 uh, 45, 47 4 5 uh, 14 75 by 21 percent. So, you can say uh, 21, you can say 21 means uh, 21 7 uh, 147 means uh, approximately it is uh, 70 percent. So, approximately what percent is the selling price is the problem. Here the question asked as approximately, otherwise uh, it is some 70 point something, but uh, it is uh, based on approximation. So, simply you can say approximately it is 70 percent, clear? Okay. Now, we will see the next question. A vendor bought toffees at 6 rupees, for, uh, 6 at 6 for a rupee, means for a rupee value, he will give 6 toffees. How many for a rupee must have? He sells to gain 20 percent. So, you want to get 20 percent profit, then how many uh, is going to sell for 1 rupee? Okay. So, the cost of 6 toffees is 1 rupee, correct. So, the selling price of 6 toffees will be 120 rupees of 1 rupee means here 120 by 100. Of course, 26 is 1 means 6 by 5 rupees means 1.2 rupees. Okay. So, if he if he purchased 6 toffees for 1 rupee and if he sells 6 by 5 toffees sorry 6 toffees for 6 by 5 rupees, then you will get 20 percent profit. So, if you want to sold how many toffees for 1 rupee means here you have to multiply 6, you have to take the reciprocal of 6 by 5 means 5 by 6 means uh, 5 means when he purchased 6 toffees for 1 rupee, when he sold 5 toffees for 1 rupee, then he, he will get 20 percent gain. This is generally by a oral calculation also, you can calculate this value, but uh, it is a descriptive one. So, for that reason, you have to write the working steps in a proper way. Now, we will see next question. The percentage profit earned by selling an article 1920 rupees is equal to the percentage loss incurred by selling the same article for 1280 rupees. At what price should the article be sold to make 25 percent profit? Here the cost price we does not know. So, the cost price of an article say x, the percentage profit earned by selling an article is 1920, correct? So, here uh, selling price is 1920 rupees. So, the profit is 1920 minus x, then profit percentage 1920 minus x by x into 100. This profit percentage is equal to the loss incurred by selling the same article for 1280 rupees. So, here the cost price is more and the selling price is 1280, x minus 1280 which is last, the last by x into 100. This x and this x get cancelled, this 100 and this 100 get cancelled. So, 1920 minus x is equal to x minus 1280 or 1920 minus 1280 is equal to x minus of minus x, x plus. 19 minus 1920 minus 1280. Okay. So, how much it is um, uh, now you have to say 1920 correct 1280 0 4. Okay. So, this one will be 8 minus 640 correct. So, 640 is equal to 2 x understand. So, x is equal to 640 by how many this one? 
త్రీ ట్వంటీ త్రీ ట్వంటీ కరెక్ట్ ఓకే సో మీన్స్ సింప్లీ ఇట్ ఈస్ త్రీ ట్వంటీ అఫ్ కోర్స్ హియర్ ఈజ్ త్రీ ఈస్ నైన్టీన్ ట్వంటీ ప్లస్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఎయిటీ యా నైన్టీన్ ట్వంటీ దిస్ మైనస్ బికమ్స్ ప్లస్ మీన్స్ దిస్ ఈజ్ టూ టూ త్రీ థౌజండ్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ so x is equal to 3200 by 2 it is 1600 correct the selling price of this is 1920 but cost price is 1600 what is required to get 125% profit means 125 by 100 into 1600 these two get cancelled 125, 16, 2000. So, this is answer. Clear? If you want to get 25 percent profit on the particular article, then you have to sold that article for 2000 rupees. A shopkeeper expects a gain of 22.5 percent on his cost price. If in a week his sale of was 392 rupees, what was his profit? What is the given information? A shopkeeper expects a gain of 22.5 percent okay, on his cost price. In a week, the sale was 392 rupees. Already I said the cost price, if you want to know it, 100 by 100 plus gain percentage, correct, into selling price then you will get cost price. So, same 100 by 100 plus gain percentage is 22.5 into selling price is 392 rupees. 392. Okay, 100 to 392 by 100 plus 22.122 correct or when you multiply with 10, then becomes 1392 by 1225. Okay. So, when you simplify this one, see it. So, you can divide with, um, yeah, you can divide with 5, 5 twos, 5 fours, 5 fives, 5 two hundreds, 240, again 5 49s. 540. Okay. Now we can 7 7s, uh, 7 5s, 7 6s, 7 1s, 7 8s, 48 is 320. So, what is the answer here? 320. Which one? The cost price. The cost price is 320. Then what is his profit is required? So, selling price is how much? 392. Cost price is how much? 320. So, selling price is more than the cost price. So, he will get profit or gain. The gain is 392 minus 320, which is 72 rupees. Clear? Like you can calculate the answer. Clear? Okay. Next. A man buys a cycle for 1400 rupees and sells it at a loss of 15 percent. What is the selling price of the cycle? This is the answer. A man buys a cycle means a cost a man buys a cycle, cost price is equal to 1400 and the last percentage is 15 percentage. So, here selling price is required. Already you have the formula selling price is equal to 100 minus last percentage by 100 into cost price 100 minus last percentage 15 by 100 into cost price 1400. 100 minus 15 is how much? 85. 85 by 100 into 1400. These two hundreds get cancelled. 85 14 is 14 5 is 70. 14 8 is 112 plus 7 119. So, 1190 rupees. Clear? Okay. Now, we will see the next question. 
Sam purchased 20 dozens of toys at the rate of 375 per dozen. He sold each one of them at the rate of 33 rupees. What is his percentage of profit? So, some 20 dozens of toys at the rate of 375 rupees per dozen means uh, 12 toys cost 375 rupees means one toy cost 375 by 12, 12 threes are 36, 15, 12 ones are 12, 30, 12 twos are 24, 12 fives are 60. Means the cost of each toy is 31 rupees 25 paisa. Then one 20 dozens means uh, see this is a okay each one is 375. So, and he sold each of them at the rate of 33 rupees means here simply selling price will be 33, cost price of each one is 31 rupees 25 paisa. So, gain on each one is 33 minus 31 rupees 25 paisa is 1 rupee 25 75 paisa. So, gain percentage is gain by cost price into 100, gain is 1 rupee 75 paisa by cost price is 31 rupees 25 paisa into 100 means you can say 175 by 3125 into 100. So, after simplification you will get 28 5 by 5, 28 by 5 percent or you can say 5.6 percent. Are you understand? In this way, now you are observing the previous examination questions, they mostly all the questions are uh, directly they are asking based on the formulas. So, once you understand the formulas, then it is a very simple. Now, we will see another question. Some articles were bought, 6 articles for 5 rupees and sold at 5 articles for 6 rupees. What is the gain percentage? Okay. So, means some articles were bought at 6 articles 5 rupees and 5 articles for 6 rupees. So, for this kind of things what you have to do? You have to find the LCM of 6 and 5. 6 and 5 are, uh, are relatively prime to each other means there is no common factor between 6 and 5. So, uh, the LCM will be 6, 5 so that is that correct. So, the cost price of uh, 30 articles means uh, what is in this one 5 by 6 of 30. 6 ones are 6 fives are 25 rupees and the selling price of 30 articles means 6 by 5 of 30, 5 ones are 5 six are 36 rupees correct. So, gain what is the gain here selling price minus cost price 36 minus 25 11. So, now we are going to find the gain percentage means uh, gain by cost price into 100, 25 ones are 25 fours are 11 fours are 44. So, the gain percentage will be 44 percent are you understand ok. We will see one more on 7 selling 17 balls at 720 rupees there is a loss equal to the cost price of 5. 5 balls. What is the cost price of each ball? What is the given information? Cost price of 17 balls minus selling price of 17 balls is equal to cost price of 5 balls correct. This is the given information. Now, see it 17 balls at 720 and the loss equal to the cost price of 5 balls. So, means uh, cost price of 17 balls minus selling price of 17 balls is equal to cost 5 balls. Okay. Means cost price means bring this one cost price of 17 balls minus cost price of 5 balls means simply the cost price of 12 balls is equal to selling price of 17 balls which is equal to 720 it is given correct. So, cost ball of 12 balls is 1720, 
then cost price of one ball 1720 by 12 12 ones are 12 six means each ball cost is how much cost price of each ball is 60 rupees clear ok we will see one more when a plot is sold for 18700 rupees the owner loses 15 percent at what price must that plot be sold in order to gain 15 percent when a plot sold for 18700 rupees the owner loses 15 percent at what price must be plot be sold in order to gain percent ok means 15 percent loss means 85 then that is 18700 if it is 15 percent gain that is 115 then how much it is so you can say 85 by 18700 equal to 115 by x or x is equal to when you take this one here 18700 by 115 by 80 okay then you will get after simplification you will get 25300 so the selling price is equal to 25300 we'll see one more 100 oranges are bought to at the rate of 350 and sold at the rate of 48 rupees per dozen then what is the percent means 100 oranges bought at the rate of 350 means one oranges cost is 350 by 100 means 3 rupees 50 pi paisa this is the cost price of one orange and sold at the rate of 48 per dozen means 12 RN selling price is 48. So, 1 RN selling price is 48 by 2 that is 4 rupees means uh, the profit is 4 minus 3 rupees 50 paisa that is 50 paisa. So, profit percentage 50 paisa by 3 rupees 50 paisa into 100 means uh, 50 by 350 into 100. 51s are 57 the means 100 by 7 or you can say 14 and 2 by 7 percent like the questions will come in the examination the this concept is very simple only you have to understand the question when you are good in formulas then it is easy to score the maximum cost so i hope you understand this for the preparation of this concept you can go for uh, state syllabus textbooks of 8th uh, and ninth classes because there is uh, business mathematics concepts are there even ICSC mathematics concept uh, also for 8th ninth textbooks that is mostly useful even you can prepare for the RS Sagarwar or Goyal brothers books there also n number of questions are here and uh, you have to practice quantitative aptitude questions also based on profit and loss you will get a perfection about uh, profit and loss. Thank you. Thank you for listening.